media. Oh, really? It was that car. Oh, you gosh. know, like what's going on with the people, car? People really focus on the wrong things. <laughs> <laughs> well, the car is in Tanzania, obviously. Um, I had no interest in taking it. I have my car here. I have my my BMW. It's actually in the garage. It's messed. <laughs> I've not taken it out for a while. With all this Corona stuff going on. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna leave a relationship. Be like, oh, I'm taking the car. I'm taking this. No, you can have all that. I can get myself a car. I can get myself what I need. Yeah. That's all that matters. Yeah. And I think mm. um, it's 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 good that you 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 talk about that because. When you, the two of you got together, um, you know, uh, the, I also saw some comments about, you know, are you are you in this for the money? Are you in mm. this for the fame? Why are you in this relationship? Obviously. They're, you know, coming from the background mm. of he had, mm. um, I think, two other, very, one other very public relationship, mm. um, or two other public mm -hmm. relationships. Mm. Um, and so, you know, being able to be your own woman mm. in terms of what you earn and how you earn and, and you know, and even now as a musician, maybe you can speak about that. Mm -hmm. Back to back to the, the media and the blogs, they're always going to see things from their perspective, you know. Whether you do good or bad, they're always going to have something to say. As long as I know that I was genuine in that relationship, I was genuinely in love, I genuinely gave my all. I was willing to go the extra mile in terms of even business for this relationship. I, I wanted everything I, I had in mind, I was thinking of my family. I said, okay, I want to establish myself as in this certain career or as a musician, let's say. I want to establish myself or as an entrepreneur and, and see how I can add value to his empire and how we can merge and how we can become one great thing you know to be honest it used to get to me but these days I look at myself and I say you know what you know your truth that's all that matters whatever they think is up to them about um, co-parenting how is, how does that work for you how will you um, I know that you had you know you were raised by a stepdad so you you were already aware of the whole um, blended family which is becoming a lot more um, rampant, mm -hmm. yeah. common now, mm -hmm. um, so you're aware of that. And how does that look like for you when you think about the fact that your son also has other siblings from True. other uh, women mm -hmm. in, in Diamond's life? Mm -hmm. How does that look like for you? And will mm -hmm. you give him access to his son mm -hmm. and things like that? Okay, um, in terms of co-parenting between uh, me and him, mm, at it's something I'd like to keep a little bit private for now because it's still something in the works. Um, but in terms of his other siblings, I do eventually want him to grow up knowing his brothers and sister, you know. Um, so yes, I do definitely see myself getting in touch with, with uh, them, their mothers eventually when I'm ready and, and have my child and have their siblings all grow up together or at least know of one another, you know. Because I feel like that's important because they might grow up hating us mothers too for keeping them away from their own brothers and sister, you know. So I'm here thinking about my son, nothing else. Strictly thinking about my son and what's best for him. And eventually, yes, that's something I do. That, that would 